لا لا خرجي على الاونلاين بدون ماسك انا اه برا هو انا بالسياره انت بالسياره برا اه برا ايوه بالضبط اه بالسياره معقوله وهي طلبنا هلا كمان هيهم داخلين هلا شويه فيعني الفكره يعني هي معنا كمان دكتور ياسر انه الفكره انه شجعتنا احنا ككليه انه نستمر بهذا الوضع لانه بصراحه كانت تجربه عم بنشوف انه في عطش لها من الطلاب بشكل كبير ومن اعضاء التدريس وكانت فرصه انه يصير في ديالوج بيننا كلنا وهي قربتنا كثير بصراحه اللي هي بعتبرها من فوائد الكورونا اللي راح نستمر فيها ان شاء الله ونعمل كمان هي كمان مش بس انه هاي المحاضرات يكون في عندنا حكينا هذيك المره ما حكينا لك احنا انا بس نص دقيقه وبعطي الحديث للدكتور ياسر لا لا كان مره اخر مره كان حتى معنا ما اكثر محاضره اللي هو موضوع اللي هو كان الموضوع عم بنحكي عن الكوليكتيف ميموري ودخل موضوع البيرسونال ميموري وكيف الكونكشن وذ هيستوري وهلا دكتور ياسر كان يحكي لك شو الفكره اللي بدنا نعملها وتكون جزء منها كمان انت دكتور ياسر انا خلص خلصت اللي عندي انا انا عندي فول سكرين فمش شايف مين الحضور وعددهم اه العدد 42 لحد هلا اه والله اه ايمن لو شوي تميل الكاميرا عشان نشوف وجهك دائما انت عندك المشكله انا انا ليش كانت مبينه طاقيته اول شيء وطرف الطاقيه اذا مزعج الطاقيه بشيلها يعني لا حلوه بالعكس احنا بدنا الباكج كاب الطاقيه مع الوجه مع النظارات طب انا مبين انا مبين لا بحكي انه شوف الطاقيه والعينين الخضر الله يخليه خلي هاي اهلا اهلا كيفك مهندس ايمن يا هلا مين لطفا انا على فكره مش شايف بدا بدا رئيس قسم الانتيريال ديزاين عندنا بالكليه اه اهلا وسهلا بدا صلاح بدا صلاح اهلا 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 كيفك انت طبعا كيف الله يسعدك الله يخليك اهلا استاذ ايمن كيف الحال؟ اهلا يا هلا هاي صاروا 49 كيف الحال؟ كيف الحال؟ شو اخبارك؟ وهي دكتور كمان استاذنا دكتور كامل معنا كمان يا هلا اهلا دكتور كامل صباح الخير يا ايمن كيف حالك؟ الحمد لله حياك الله اهلا لك عطر لك عطر الذاكره انت واهلك <تصفيق> الله يبارك فيك شكرا آه. كيفك استاذ ايمن؟ الحمد لله اهلا اهلا سيزار سيزار اهلا سيزار كيف الحال؟ كيف اخبارك؟ والله انا الدكتور كامل التال كمان رئيس قسم الديزاين ايش؟ اسال الدكتور كامل التال دكتور ياسر في عندي سؤال الحضور اذا 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 ما في اذا ما في خواجات بكمل بالعربي ولا في خواجات؟ خلينا نطبع شوفينا الاسامي في في معنا من من اه فروم اوت سايد في عنا في عنا من بلجيوم وي مش سامع في ناس في Yeah, nice, nice to have them. And I can't see except my my screen, unfortunately. Yeah. Claudine, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see who is the person. I'm going to be able to see the full screen. I'm going to be able to see the full screen. I'm going to be able to see the full screen. I'm going to be able to see the full اوكي okay. او يعني اذا حتى من الكمبيوتر في بارتيسيبانتس مجرد ما كبست على البارتيسيبانت ببين عندك القائمه 
اه بدك تكون دائما فل سكرين ما بيبين عنده مين اللي عم بيحكي لانه لا يا مريت كيف يا مريت كيف يا مريت كيف في عنده بار في بارتيسيبنت في كل بارتيسيبنت يلا هي عملت اسكيب اوكي في بارتيسيبنت طلع على البار لا عندك بارتيسيبنت تكبس عليه ايوه 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 لقيته؟ اوكي اوكي اه شفت يا ياسر وشفت حدا الفوتو طيب صراحة هاي تجربة في... رائدة للجامعة الأمريكية لازم يعني يشهد لها و... وتشكر عليه صراحة عم تعمل حراك فكري رائع الله يخليكي الله يخليكي شكرا بجهود الكل يعني يعني دكتور نايف دكتور ياسر كل كل دكتور صراحة انتم كل القائمين انتم كل القائمين فعلا تدريس اول ميسا شو مالك كيف حالك يا ميسا؟ الله يسعدك استاذنا نتلامس فيك كيف حالك ميسا الشوملي؟ جود تو سي الله يسلمك متابعه ودائما بعمل لك شير لصفحه طلابنا دائما لكل شغلك يعني يحماك يا ربنا انت لحالك كمان ظاهره دكتور كامل ايش؟ انت لحالك ظاهره لا العفو لا العفو الله يسلمك يا دكتور كامل تبان يعني رتب الامور دكتور ياسر طيب طيب بس لا انا انفورمال هيك بدي اداعب الدكتور كامل شويه دكتور كامل هذه سكسوكي هذه يعني اول مره بعملها ولا قبل هيك؟ اول مره بعملها يعني انت شو دخلك والله والناس كلها اونلاين عملتها ولا انا عملتها وانا واز ان ماي فاينل يير ات كانسا ستيت يونيفرستي لا لا لانه لا لا بقى عليك لا لا بقى عليك لا بقى عليك في ناس وين راح ياسر؟ ثانك يو في ناس بنبقى عليهم كل شيء اني واي اتس جود تو سي ايمن توداي لانه ايمن از عيتر ما دام لسه ما بلشنا ايمن جويند الامريكان يونيفرستي في بيروت وين اي واز سكند او ثيرد يير اند هي شود ا جريت امبروفمنت ان اوت ستاندينج كاليبر over the years with his personality. And I know that he has a good hand and he's a good designer and he has a good philosophy. It's always a pleasure to see Ayman on the screen. You enrich the place and the aroma of the place. God bless you. Allah sometimes we should tell him something The spirit of good architects is always floating around him. Okay. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I think now Dr. Kamil really did the great job on my behalf. I mean, he already introduced you. All I can add is just a, a personal note, as I usually try to do in my introduction to our guests, give them like a hint of the inside, inside personality of her. Um, Ayman, uh, I first came to know him uh, at Hassan Fathi. It, uh, it happened one of those years uh, when I was a third or fourth year student at Jordan University. I was visiting Hassan Fathi, and I met this young chap uh, there who came after my meeting with Hassan Fathi and introduced himself uh, to me and told me I'm Ayman Zaytar. I just graduated from American University of uh, Beirut, and I'm, I'm here. Uh, uh, living in Cairo as an intern of uh, with Hassan Fathi. Um, he and his uh, colleague, uh, his fellow uh, student uh, at uh, American University, I think Haytham Haddad, uh, yes. both graduated. And first thing they did, they traveled to Egypt. They knocked uh, the doors of Hassan Fathi and told him, we would like to learn from you. And then for I think a year. Half a year, half a year. For a year, you remained in turn. You, um, I don't think that you were paid. You, you, you were just there for the experience of learning from the master. And that was the spirit uh, that characterized um, uh, Ayman Zaytar his passion, his dedication to uh, self-improvement, to learning, and to share this experience with uh, his uh, uh, empl employees, with his colleagues, and with his uh, audience, as he's uh, going to do today. Uh, welcome, Ayman. The floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to 
بس از ذا سكرين كلير كلودين يو شود اي ناو جو تو فول سكرين Now I am on full screen. Are you on full screen, guys? نعم تمام. Okay. Yes. يلا okay. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. أول شيء thank you very much, uh, my dear colleagues, for inviting me to share some of my experience in design and urban design. Really, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, three projects that we were involved in. in uh, design and urban design and <clears throat> what's important to me here is the actually the lessons learned that i want to share with the with the audience um, which i think are very important and uh, they shed light on certain aspects of our profession that we should uh, i think it's time that we look on carefully uh, not yani we, there are dimensions in in urban design that we should take care of and be aware of before even starting design this i will talk through uh, now through my uh, projects that uh, we designed me and my team i I'm, i'm part of a design team in our in our small office of course with the collaboration of sanabel uh, landscape designers uh, <clears throat> And I called it between the expected and the real. It's it's this is the experience I'm going to go through uh, my my talk. Uh, <clears throat> I will start with uh, Abu Darwish Plaza. Abu Darwish is the mosque uh, that was built uh, like 60 years ago by uh, a contractor called Abu Darwish. He he was he was the designer and the builder <laughs> at that time. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, it, 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 the, the, the mosque was built on a, on a hilltop, on one of the hilltops of Amman, with the uh, stone, black and white stones, stripes. It's, it's a, so it's very clear, it's a striking image that everyone in downtown Amman sees. Wherever you are, you can see Abu Darwish Mosque. Be, behind, beyond Abu Darwish, behind it, <clears throat> the municipality thought Uh, the municipality had a project to do, to start doing urban plazas or pedestrian plazas in Amman, and they decided to start with East Amman in the in the vicinity of Abu Darwish uh, Mosque. Now, this is the the original situation. I am going to hi highlight, of course, with my mouse. <clears throat> this is the space. Uh, the the uh, there was a, there used to be Amman committee. Uh, a, a group of يعني, supposedly excellent architects that were grouped into something called Amman Committee uh, who <clears throat> worked on choosing sites to start making pedestrian plazas in Amman. And uh, they brought in for the strategies the famous urban designer Yang Gale, whom I think is, is very well known uh, and One of the sites that were chosen was this site that I'm showing now on the on the slide. Uh, now, on the extreme left, there is the Al Bashir Hospital. It is the largest public hospital in Jordan, to my knowledge. And uh, the photo is taken from the uh, minaret of the mosque. And this is the space that was the potential for for the pedestrian plaza. And this building, before we came on board, there was some decisions uh, taken and some buildings acquired on the site. One of them is this one, that they thought it's an obstacle in obstacle to this potential site. Now, this is a, <clears throat> an aerial view of the, of the area. You can see here the building I was talking about, the mosque. These are the buildings existing. This is the mosque building. Now, this semicircle, I came to know that it was drawn by the contractor himself. 
who who sponsored the building and built the mosque in negotiation with the Baladiyat Amman, Amman municipality. For, I think it was a negotiation where he drew a semicircle on the map and they gave him the land for the mosque. Yani, look, look how the decisions are made. Uh, it was a vital area with the taxi, white taxis, service, etc. And the shopping around. On the extreme right is the Al-Bashir Hospital, which I uh, I was telling you that it is uh, the largest public hospital in, in Jordan. Very, very active, very busy. These two buildings, <clears throat> before we came on board, were acquired by the municipality. And the first one here was demolished. And as we came on board to complete to, to work on the design, this little building was still uh, there existing and it was to be removed with uh, as as uh, as soon as the project uh, construction starts now uh, professor yang Gain's strategy was to to have a building on the periphery to define the urban space and uh, there was a note that uh, there are overlooks overviews of the city because this is a very high site and they called it uh, windows to the city where people, tourists can come and have a view uh, on the whole city and on the citadel also. Now, this was the situation. The, uh, it was full of cars, full of cars all the time. Uh, it was uh, a bit chaotic, uh, but it was very lively. And uh, <clears throat> uh, usually their, uh, people bring their uh, deceased uh, when they have a relative that passed away, especially from the nearby hospital, and they come to the mosque to perform the funeral prayers, Salatul Janaza, and then they take the deceased uh, to the to the cemetery. That was part of the activity going on on the side. And you can see that the mosque, it's uh, with with its uh, white and black uh, stripes. So it's, it's an image, I mean, whatever we think about it, it is a feature. Now, during the work, when we were putting more than one scenario, the, uh, the mayor at that time said, why don't we make big buildings around and bring on an investor? It's an investment opportunity. Now this, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to mo remove existing buildings here. Uh, he said, no problem, we will just uh, pay them back. Yani, we will kibulu uh, bi'awud. Expropriation. Expropriation, and we'll pay back. But I, but I negotiated with, with the mayor and the committee that uh, if we want to do a project, these people have their, uh, there is a restaurant down and there are shops and there is a sweet shop that is living here. It's a source of income for many families. So we don't have to, if we want to make a, a nice project here, we don't have to harm uh, and cause loss for, for people. So let's reduce the size of the building and keep these two buildings. Yani, yani, so that they can also benefit uh, and not be harmed and moved away. Later on, I found that these two buildings also maybe I can keep. So we negotiated to reduce the size of the building in, in order to keep the people on the site. And with time, there was still this building here. And uh, when I, one of the times I was visiting the site searching, a guy came and said, Come, my my old my father want to to talk to you. He's a resident in this building. So I went to see the old man. Uh, I went into his apartment, and he was very sad. He said, "You want to kick me out of my home?" I said, "I I don't want to 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 kick you out. It's uh, it's not my decision. But I I I know that the municipality will will take your building, but they will pay back." He said, "The payment is unfair." And I'm an old man, and I want to stay home, and etc. It was sad, so I promised him to fight uh, uh, with the committee and to keep his building. So I convinced the committee also to reduce the size of the of the building in order to keep the existing buildings as much as possible. 
And I told them that this will not affect the urban design, the, the urban space, the form of the space is not affected by the size. Uh, now this is showing 3D of the last uh, scenario that was agreed on. And also, I noticed while we were there, the Yangel strategy was to have like apartments here. But I thought this will not work in our, uh, in our society. I mean, apartments, it's a very conservative uh, context here. Very conservative and the people won't live in apartments overlooking a public space in such a way. So from my uh, observations of the site, I used to see uh, lots of kids, uh, school kids, uh, running around uh, here and there and uh, maybe some escaping from their schools. So I suggested <clears throat> to the committee uh, to make a, like a library, library for the small children in order to, yeah, and to keep them off of the street <laughs> as much as possible. So that was, the idea was accepted and the mayor suggested to make it as a cultural center, not only a library, in, in addition to the shops on the ground floor, so that we will serve the community through our project also which was, uh, I thought, a good move at that time. Now, while we were working, we had in the design a viewing platform here. I, I told you in the beginning that there was a small block here that was acquired by the municipality and there was a decision to, to demolish it in order to open the view to the city. Now, as the contractor worked, <coughs> we realized here that when they demolished the uh, small building here, there was an obstacle. There was a block here blocking the view. We didn't realize this. This is the mosque. And this is the viewing platform. And this is the block blocking the view. This is the building, small building blocking the view. Now this building, uh, you can see it here in the section. This is the level where we wanted the viewing platform looking at the city and this was the small building blocking view it was we found out that this is a small library that is connected to a school a school under the mosque there's a floor under the mosque which is used uh, as a school for the orphans for poor poor, poor kids and orphans and uh, so it was a charity thing so when we found out that this is blocking the view uh, the mayor at that time said he okay we will remove the school out yani, just like that so I told him no we will not remove the school because of this block yani. but he said that uh, overlooking the, the the city is very important I told him I, I will find I'll try to find a solution let me find a solution but keep the school uh, there so what we did it is surgical it is we removed the block of the library, but we compensated it with a, with a space under the platform, if you can see on the section. So we took it, we took this out, and we gave them all this space, which is much better than that one. So it was a win-win situation, where we gave the school uh, a good, good space, and we took the view that we uh, wanted. These are the interventions that were uh, improvised on site. Uh, this is the plan of the how it, it came to be in the end. Uh, all this turned into a pedestrian. There was a white taxi parking here, public. We moved it in the back. And this was a blocked uh, street which we opened. And we turned this into a, a pedestrian plaza. These are the shops. And this is the cultural center, the ground floor. It's two floors with a parking. Um, and we kept this road with a drop off for the funeral prayers in the mosque. Uh, <laughs> Oh Allah, طب let me go back and
انا طلعت من الفول سكرين آه. طيب هلا انتم شايفين السايت بلان في في حدا ثاني في دا حد في حدا ثاني عمل بريزنت دي دي سي انتير ديزاين عمل بريزنت وامول الشاشه استاذ ايمن ارجع اعمل بريزنت سكرين او بريزنت تو ايفري ون اوكي بس وين بقدر اعمل انا مش لاقيها اه اوكي ما عملنا من الاول اي ام سوري اه طيب اوكي بس شكرا حدا من الموجودين بالغلط عمل بريزنت في دي دي سي انتير ديزاين عملوا بريزنت سكرين وقاموا برزنتيشن استاذ ايمن خلص هي هلا تمام هلا مشي الحال اه تمام بس اكبس على على الفل هلا 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 شفنا اوكي اوكي ذيس از ذا سايت بلان از ات كلير Okay, the site plan. Uh, where's the mouse? Yeah, this is the uh, our intervention, our addition, the cultural center, the shopping, and this is the existing mosque, the plaza, and this is the viewing uh, platform overlooking the, the city. We gave, as, as I told you, the school. Under this, we compensated the space for the library, and we gave them like a small courtyard also. Um, this is a view the upper view is when you're back to the mosque and you're seeing the so I, I want to say that at the end this was a thin strip here in order to save the buildings in order to save the people here this was very a very thin stripe which i told the committee that even a screen would do to define an urban space yani and and when you do a project uh, it's it's good not to harm the 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 residents and the, the people benefiting from the site anyway the lower one I, can you see the lower elevation well it's hidden okay so the upper one is the show shows you the uh, the shops that we were suggesting and here is the cultural center this i will come in a moment this box i will come in a moment uh, to discuss about and this is just a screen to allow us to define the urban space. The lower one is the back elevation, which is facing the residential buildings in the back. Uh, it's very simple with minimum openings uh, for less disturbance to the residents. And it shows you the Abu Darwish feature mosque. This, this is the situation. Uh, maybe this is five years ago, something like that. Uh, this is the, the, the first plaza connected to the big one and the mosque. Um, we imagine, we expect, and we planted trees here, and we expected this was designed to, to, to be a shaded plaza. Yani the, the trees should grow and connect and make like a shaded, uh, in, a pleasant entry space to the, to the big plaza. And we have, we also had some trees here. Unfortunately, uh, these trees were neglected. I don't know why, uh, the negligence. And uh, they never flourished uh, as we expected them. Um, I don't know the reason why they were. It was a responsibility of the municipality. Now, uh, just half an hour before my lecture, I called uh, a friend who is the caretaker of the mosque, asking about its situation. He said, uh, some trees were removed, but uh, two or three trees are now uh, trees are now flourishing. I mean, so uh, it began to be somehow active, and I told you we kept this uh, road uh, to allow for the for the movement of cars and the funerals, um, and uh, uh, we also allowed for more shops than there was in the original uh, scheme. And this was the op uh, entrance of the cultural center. <clears throat> this is a view of the, of the introductory plaza. Uh, we expected, the expectation was that uh, trees will grow and this will be a shaded area, but unfortunately uh, they were neglected. Um, we used local stone here, all uh, types of uh, local stone in Jordan, travertine from the Jordan Valley, basalt stone, and Ma'an stone. 
and they put a, a police kiosk here, a police a little police station to in order to keep the order and control the area. And that, I will talk about this uh, in a moment. Um, these are views of the uh, plaza with the people. Uh, no, sorry. In the back, you can see the uh, the small, simple cultural center and some shopping. And there used to be a, a, there is a difference in level, which why, which was compensated by making like a stepped seating here, like a small theater. I mean, at that time, it began to work. Uh, I was happy to see this view, actually, in one of our visits. Uh, you can see the mosque and the space. And that with time, with time, what happened is that the shops were not rented. And the uh, the commercial activity really slowed down. Uh, I'm not sure why, but uh, when I asked people there, they said uh, this was uh, slowed down very much because the car movement was reduced, was almost uh, gone. Yani the it seems that when you turn a space into a pedestrian in our part of the world, I don't know if this is the case in other places. But uh, I didn't expect at all that uh, the shops will, will stay closed and there was no uh, uh, commercial activity, uh, selling, buying, etc. Uh, that was a, a, a surprise to, to me. Uh, that it's the, until this time, this is, not, uh, this is not rented because the, the, that my friend caretaker of the mosque, he said, uh, because you removed the car cars movement. Uh, well, this is the reason why. <clears throat> also, uh, one of the things that uh, we realized and we didn't notice before that during the day, there you, there used to be uh, it, it has it, uh, يعني, it it is active. Some families come, uh, mothers with their children, etc., etc. Until like the the sunset. After the sunset. Uh, families leave, and youngsters come to the play uh, to the to the space and uh, misuse it. Uh, bad behavior. Uh, they get drunk. They fight. Uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, this, يعني, this is this harmed the residents, and they were complaining all the time of the uh, behavior of these youngsters at night. So they put the they tried to activate the police station here. But with time, they left it. Yani the police left, which I don't know until this moment why. Uh, one of this is the back one of the back wall of the uh, cultural center that uh, they used to paint on, which I I thought is very nice. Yani, and I think I learned that in in such uh, urban projects, it's good to leave uh, blank walls for for people to paint and for kids to paint. That was a nice surprise to me. I, I, uh, <clears throat> I think when people paint on buildings, it's it's nice in the city. I'm not uh, of the opinion of uh, keeping buildings uh, so sterilized. Uh, <laughs> this is one of the uh, of the openings on the uh, on the city and overlooking the plaza. And in, in such, I and mean, we had lights here, but at night the lights were broken. Municipality never uh, changed the lights. So these dark spots were the problem actually uh, for the misbehavior at night that caused this uh, harm for the residents. Now that is a lesson learned, which we didn't think of actually. Uh, Okay, now I come, uh, <clears throat> we were thinking uh, during the design, how can we activate the cultural center with the open plaza? What to do, something to connect the, the activity in the cultural center with the plaza, not to be separate. So suddenly what came to my mind, surprisingly, is something that I, uh, uh, we used to see and we used to have when we were small kids 
in our hometown, hometown Nablus in Palestine. It's called Sandu al Ajayib, Box of Wonders, <clears throat> where an old man comes uh, carrying this box. It's, it's, uh, this is from Syria, but uh, in my sketch on the right shows you a simplified version of the same uh, Box of Wonders. Uh, where uh, he would run a, like a, a, a play, and he will have two roles, uh, left and right. The kids would, we would sit on a bench and look from the hose, uh, and he will move the story, the, the paper, rolled paper with drawings, and he would uh, tell a story. Sometimes he would sing a song. That was an extremely exciting event for us uh, when we were kids. I don't know what this, why this came to my mind at that moment. So I said, why don't we make uh, a big box, a big uh, wooden box uh, that would open, connected to the uh, cultural center and would open on the plaza and plays and events would be arranged by the cultural center and the wooden doors would be open and people will, will use uh, the plaza as, the, as their seating play space. So this was introduced uh, as uh, this wooden box with all these shutters that can open onto the, onto the open space. Uh, and this would work two ways. It would work on for the plaza and it would work on, uh, for the uh, cultural center inside. There's a big hole also inside. So it was a double thing. Unfortunately, I don't have photos of this uh, in action, but one of the events was this uh, lecture where the plaza all was filled with with uh, with people and the lecturer used to sit uh, in front of the stage giving his talk i don't know why they put carpets and we put a nice uh, we worked on a nice tiling stone and they just put carpets I don't know. this is a uh, adapka uh, traditional dance also in the in the box but it is looking to the inside a play. Now, what, what was nice to me to see that uh, there was in, in the cultural center, they used to make arrange for uh, events for kids of the neighborhood and even the adjacent neighborhoods would come. They would make uh, like celebrations. Uh, uh, and that was really, really nice to see that uh, it is working somehow. And this was very nice uh, for me to see that uh, they also generated some social work a day to clean the plaza, to clean the streets. This is very, very, very nice. Uh, yeah, the, the, the most successful part of this project was this, uh, this cultural center, actually. Um, uh, so what, uh, th there's a, a comment on that project that uh, wh why did the commercial activity slow down? And if we remove cars, uh, people don't go to buy and sell. And I don't know. This is this was uh, unexpected, actually, and uh, it's a lesson learned. I will go now to uh, another project in downtown Amman, the Ragadan bus terminal. Uh, that was one of the uh, <clears throat> tourist uh, development uh, tourist uh, development projects. Many sites were chosen in Amman and Jordan, actually. One of them was uh, downtown Amman. Here is the uh, Roman amphitheater, and this is the Amman citadel on the other side. There's, this is downtown, this is the Wadi, and the citadel is here, and the Roman amphitheater is here. Uh, actually, um, uh, here they, there used to be a bus terminal here, Ragadan bus terminal, the old one. It was very messy and chaotic and whatever. So uh, the committee that was uh, choosing sites for uh, touristic uh, development and urban development, which was a combination, it's combined from the uh, Jordanian government and the uh, Japanese cooperation, International Cooper Cooperation Agency, JICA. And the project, and they thought that this is a, a very important uh, site. I mean, you have the amphitheater, you have the Odeon, you have the citadel. This is the heart of Amman, I mean, historic. Uh, so why don't we uh, remove the old uh, 
terminal and build another one that will have a tourist visitor, shops, restaurants, etc., and develop this area that would attract more tourists. Uh, yeah, Ayman, uh, Ayman, can, can hold on. Somebody just took out your screen. Uh, his, Yusuf, uh, there's a guy by the name Yusuf who just uh, this his screen instead of your screen. Can you طيب please? I'm not sure Yusuf, okay. Uh, can you go back to your screen now? You should share your screen once again. Anna? Ah. طب هلا إيش عمل؟ آه، أوكي. أروح على ال. Resume. Resume presentation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, good, good, good. Just, uh, just enlarge the. Okay. This is it, okay? Yeah, 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 it's clear. Yeah. So, yeah, the 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 committee, the 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 authorities thought that this site is very precious. I mean, let's rebuild the terminal with uh, some tourist attractions of uh, shops, cafes, etc., and resume it as a terminal. T tourists would like to walk uh, downtown Amman. They they will see the amphitheater, the Odeon. And they will go here and then uh, connect to the citadel mountain. Later on, the Sahel uh, Hashmiya, uh, this plaza was uh, also developed, designed and developed. The area here also, I think Dr. Kamil had involvement in this area. So th there was a thinking that all this area should be really developed and we shouldn't keep the, the original messy terminal here. So they moved the all the activity here to another uh, in, uh, adjacent play, uh, land, the terminal, until the project finishes, until this is designed and built. And then they told all the people here that we'll bring you back to this new terminal. Down the, the original terminal had the, also the white taxis, service, and small buses with lots of kiosks and shops. There was a, there was a lot. It generated lots of commercial activity in this area. And <clears throat> they told us that uh, you should account for all uh, the number of shops that were in the old uh, terminal and add more and we, because we'll bring them back. Now, um, this is the original uh, plan of the terminal and the building, which was working. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Um, this is a quick, but a quick look how we it, it was designed. We decided uh, with the Japanese that we will build on the front, a long uh, building on the front, leave the back for the car movement. Um, and there, uh, these two, this long building was broken into two parts because there was a, a break in the in the in the long line here. There was there was an angle, and uh, there was a connecting plaza here. And we took, we started uh, fragmenting each one into spaces, open and covered spaces. And there was this axis, which was very important, uh, this plaza. We, we there was, uh, there used to be uh, so, sorry, the to, old one, small one. Uh, to, sorry to interrupt you. Claudine, uh, we need to do something about these interruptions. I mean, somebody, we cannot just take a... Uh, uh, Ayman, please go back. Sorry for uh, once again for the uh, because uh, some so far, sometimes sometimes they put their screen instead of your screen. So okay, okay. I should do it. Easy, yeah, yes. yeah. You just uh, redo it. Now you know how to do it. Okay. Is it okay now? Uh, just enlarge it once again. Yeah, sir? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Just enlarge it once again. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now, um, and here there's an axis here. There's the mountain. And uh, we were asked to build a small mosque to compensate for the big prayer hall that was lost. Uh, and we thought that this would be a connecting plaza between this mountain here, Anadif, and the uh, Citadel mountain. Um, 
uh, the project, as the scope was written by the Japanese government, JICA, uh, stops here. Yani there is, uh, we had uh, uh, a pedestrian bridge that connects to the other side, but it stops here, right here. It doesn't connect to the mountain. And we told them we cannot stop the bridge there. How can people, they can they jump or what? They said, we don't know that this is the scope. So I, we were suggesting a way to connect our project to the other side uh, of the mountain. I mean, you cross the main street and then you either continue your way up or you go down to the, to the, main, to the main street. These are the plans. Uh, this is the project. I want to show you what's the whole project here. Uh, <clears throat> it had two levels, the lower ground with the car movement, they will take the people from here and go out under, from under the building into and connect to the main street. Uh, upper lower ground, we can you say you can see here the connection plaza. Uh, so there was a it's a long building with with shops and cafes etc. And this connecting plaza here that, and this is the mosque uh, plaza, the uh, pedestrian plaza, and you can go up with a stair here connect from this uh, pedestrian into the mountain. Plus lots of stairs connecting up and down. I mean, from here, from the other street, you can connect from here, you can connect from here. So the idea was how to, I mean, uh, ensure like a, a flow of people and, and allow people to go up to the upper floors to enjoy the cafes and views of the city. Uh, and the, the, and, and the idea was how to stitch your project with the city, with the movement of the city. Um, this is how it looks from the Citadel Mountain, the project. Um, now, what happened is when the project was finished, the officials looked at it and said, and this is to my surprise now, now, <laughs> now the reality. They said, this is this nice project, we cannot, we don't want to, as I, as I understood, we don't want to bring back the old mess into this project. It's nice, we want to keep it clean, and we want to think what to do with it. And this was like seven, seven nine years ago. Uh, and until now, the authorities are still thinking what to do with this project. To my surprise, yeah. And I think that that was uh, not, you know, not a wise decision. I mean, uh, just uh, let it work and uh, let let uh, let the people do what they want with it. I mean, it's this is the city. The city, the people make the city. And uh, one mayor at that time said, "Well, we are. Uh, this is the amphitheater. Uh, this is before the Hashmiya Plaza was developed. This one, and we will." Uh, we will uh, allow this for uh, an investment opportunity with hotels and uh, let's let's think what to do with this it's very in a, in a very important pay, space we don't want to bring the mess of the of the old terminal uh, and i think and i think that was a wrong decision i mean uh, keeping this project empty for for so many years just because they want to disturb they don't want to disturb the historical site isn't a wise, it's not a wise decision. And this was never, we never thought that it will end up uh, this way. Anyway, one other aspect is that when we were designing, uh, we thought that uh, let us leave some spaces uncovered and let the users uh, put their own covers. This is something we learned through time that uh, when one designs in cities, projects like that, and I'm addressing also the uh, students that are with us now listening, that the architect, I think, doesn't, or the planner doesn't have to finish the project till the end. Leave some parts for, for the public to add. Leave the users to add their needs. So I, I was thinking that I should leave, we should leave some spaces uncovered and let the users use them. So, because the project was, uh, I mean, sleeping, nothing happened until one day, uh, there's, there's an event that happens every year in Amman called Amman Design Week. Two years ago, the committee of Amman Design Week asked the municipality 
to use the terminal just for one week. And I will show you now, this is another view of the project. Uh, you see the upper story where you have cafes, shops. It's a potential with a visitor center. This is the connection plaza. And uh, from below, the car movement is, is below. It's not disturbed. So this is a view of inside the long, long axis, pedestrian axis up on the upper floor. Now, to my surprise, in the Amman Design Week, when, it, when they used it just for a week, they put all these shades and installations uh, where we expected that uh, the users would do. And it was very interesting, actually. The project was live, living for just one week, full of activity, full of people, and everyone was so happy. And I, I, I walked there, I didn't believe what's, what's going on. It's like, it was like, a, it was so nice just for one week. Uh, even the, you can see there on the right, the pedestrian bridge connecting the two mountains. They also applied installations. Uh, it was a nice dream that ended. <laughs> and still the authorities are thinking what to do with, with, with this project. I mean, it's crazy. Now the last project, uh, is uh, Sahit Al Ain in, in uh, the city of Salt, the historic city of Salt, is one of the oldest and most important cities in Jordan. Uh, it is a, a, an old fabric, a traditional old fabric, stone fabric, which is very, very rich. We were involved in, uh, in, in some parts of in the urban design, which is the Sahit Al Ain, uh, the Saha of the spring. In the old days, there used to be a water uh, water spring here, which all the people used to take water from. And one of the uh, tourist development projects was to develop some some stairs, some alleys, and the this center plaza. Um, uh, if we look now at the enlargement on the far right, here, uh, the plaza with time <clears throat> it turned into uh, just an island with the big tree here. And all this was carved movement. All this carved movement. Now this here, this is the souk al-hammam. It's a, a traditional souk, pedestrian souk. And this little alley is the shoemaker's alley, al iskafiya And this is al-khadr alley also. And we were asked to design uh, this plaza. We thought that uh, yani we want to make it, turn it into a, almost a pedestrian space because this is the heart of the historic city of the sun. Uh, we tried to change, to turn this into a pedestrian alley. This is a car. Uh, now the car, it's a car movement here. They saw, they, the, all the authorities said you cannot because this is very vital. This movement, this little alley is very vital and they couldn't close. But we want our project to, to extend the pedestrian and to connect it, to connect it with the souk al-hammam, uh, the, traditional souk and the shoemaker's alley. So I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to, to be brief. This is the Saha, eventually, because this has to stay, so this little, this little street has to continue here. We paved it with stone also, and we took all this space as a pedestrian uh, plaza. And here, our project reconnected the heart of the city with the souk al-hammam and the is um, Before our project, this was full of car movement. It's the same situation in uh, <clears throat> in uh, Abu Darwish. Uh, lots of cars, uh, messy, uh, chaotic parking, etc., and lot of commercial activity. Now, <clears throat> in in our project, everything slowed down. It is nice for the pedestrians, but the commercial activity again slowed down. Now, this, I took this from the minaret of the neighboring mosque. There's a lot of interventions in the Saha, but I'm talking in, in, uh, on our part. This is the uh, plaza that was introduced. Pedestrian, we, we connected the pedestrian area with the, with the, with the old bazaar. Um, it worked. Now, this is a close-up of the, of the urban space. Uh, now what happened is that 
although this is very nice for tourists and etc but also the commercial activity slowed down really and the reason they say that because we we uh, we reduce the car movement and this is an issue that is uh, recurring in, in in the projects that we work uh, we are working on I don't know is it the culture of the people is it uh, is it true that we that our project is the reason or people are used here to park their cars in front of the shop يعني, and do little walking but uh, <clears throat> actually uh, and this is the the plaza space now look at this uh, tree this is during autumn and the rest of the year it would be uh, fully green this is a, a main feature uh, of of the space it's a, it's a very important space now with with, with, with this tree now in the old days uh, people uh, in the in, in the before our project we were told by many colleagues that uh, old men used to come sit here and uh, play uh, there's a traditional game called mingala or something with the pebbles uh, and they said with your project you deprived them of this uh, space they will not come anymore so to our surprise fortunately when we finished the project they came back uh, so it is a nice space i think it 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 released the 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 noise of the cars but at the same time uh, it reduced uh, a lot the the commercial activity <coughs> this is the old people that came back to their to their place which is was very nice to to me that to, to see this <clears throat> some other views uh, of the space this is the plaza uh, how it it connects with the with the market our project thus extended the 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 pedestrian to connect with the with the old bazaar and on the, on the left there is a little alley which is the shoemakers alley shoemakers alley we when we work when start working it was like this deteriorating and we had to work with this uh, flooring actually the project was concerned not with the elevation but not with with the ground and we we found out that uh, with time all the shops and shoemakers were adding just the steps and platforms here and there to suit them so we had two choices either we remove all this and make new connections or we respect what they have done here just renovate it and it was really hard work because every single spot is different this is after and this was a successful intervention i believe and i want to show you to, to what to what detail we were working i mean this shows you here on the right uh, the level of detail that we were working each shop had a different story in front of it and it was really tailored for each one now uh, just before concluding my my, my talk uh, one la one uh, nice uh, moment was uh, I realized that we put this as an interpretation interpretation uh, board stone stone uh, slab which has interpretations on it on, on the on the place but what was nice to me that all these kids, these kids, they didn't care, they cared less about the interpretation. They liked to jump here and, and use it as a slide. They were really enjoying this little piece of, uh, of stone that we had uh, in, the, in the project. And um, so <clears throat> what I want to say is that uh, um, the, uh, I want to go back to comment on the, uh, on, on to say about the Abu Darwish, the first project. Uh, why are the uh, there is misbehavior at, at night why why are people also uh, breaking the trees breaking the balustrades etc I think that uh, it's not it's a question of uh, of, of some uh, the poverty uh, unemployment frustration and these these issues that should be addressed uh, in, in brief and in conclusion when we work in the cities, when we make uh, uh, surgical interventions, it is very important to look beyond the, the form. It is very important to see what is going on around the site. 
and not just make a nice design. Any a, a, a good designer would, wouldn't solve a problem, I think. It's deeper than just uh, making nice styling, nice seating, etc. Um, because it and also it is very important when 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 there is a place that there's good commercial activity going on. Now we learned that uh, not to intervene. Actually, it is very sensitive because it will change. It will harm uh, the 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 liveliness of the, of the place in terms of of commercial activity which will harm the people, which will harm some people. So uh, it is very important to, to address this issue, not to intervene in a place that is all يعني, moving and working. So it is not wise, I think, to come and uh, make changes that would, in a way, okay, it will improve the look, uh, but at the same time, uh, it will cause uh, some harm uh, to, to others, to, to parts of the society. On one hand, on the other hand, the Abu Darwish uh, Plaza also the, the the cultural center for the kids uh, played a very good role in 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 in, in the uh, in the activities in the activities that are taking place. But at the same time, uh, I was told that also the, the the shops were never rented and the commercial activity slowed down a lot uh, and and the and the misbehavior of lots of youngsters. So, uh, but uh, يعني, if, uh, if, if I were to go back in time or if I go into a such project, similar project, I would really address more the, the people. I would uh, search deeply into the problems, uh, social problems uh, that are taking place uh, and make really uh, genuine solutions that in the program, it should be addressed in firstly, not, not as, a, as a marginal thing. And I'm addressing this to the students that when, if you work on, on urban projects in the middle of cities, especially in our part of the world, you should be you should look deep. You should look around the project. Uh, maybe behind be, behind the the nice facade that you're designing, uh, there is someone frustrated that needs uh, uh, to work, needs work, need to to feed his children. Uh, that's it in brief uh, and i thank you very much for listening really thank you very much shukran yeah uh, shukran shukran thank you malik thank you architect ayman uh, for this really uh, uh, very sensible very sensitive presentation uh, which uh, uh, raises questions and you, you and I, I like the way you uh, the way you shared it, that uh, it was more of a self-reflection and uh, in a way that invites us really to uh, participate with you in trying to uh, answer some of the questions that you raised about, the, especially about the public, uh, the nature of public space in, uh, in our country vis-a-vis uh, -vis issues to um, relationship between the retail, commerce and culture and car. Um, with this, we'll open discussion uh, to uh, our students and to our guests. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Thank, Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Shukran ya doctor al mahadar. Can we talk uh, in Arabic or in English? Uh, we prefer in English, and please identify yourself uh, before you ask a question or you make a comment. Uh, and please uh, I urge our audience just to make their comments uh, very concise because we are having a limited time. Okay, I'm Mihabel Amri from Saudi Arabia. Uh, I am an urban designer and I have more than 25 years of experience in urban design. And we have done several projects. So. Uh, I really enjoyed the presentation, uh, Engineer Ayman, and uh, uh, especially those are really related to urban design. Now, uh, this is disorganizing any urban space is very dangerous decision uh, because, as you have said, you have to study all aspects around the site, the movement, the people, everything. And usually, we call cities or we 
reasonable citizen as a human being. Uh, if the blood really uh, get cut off from any part of the human being parts, it will die. The same thing is for cities. So people has to be there in everywhere in the city and the, the flow of people has to go there in everywhere so that the, the, that the place will be live. Uh, maybe with pedestrianizing some of those uh, projects, you have isolated people from the, from the place. And that is when the key uh, reason for really commercial spaces or uh, activities to die. You could have uh, done uh, a step solution, for example. There are uh, in-between solutions between cars and totally pedestrianized in a place, which is called a shared place. So we can make a place that's shared between cars and people, and it will be also safe for people. And, and this practice is, is everywhere in Europe, I believe. So this is a step that we can take before we really go 100% uh, pedestrianizing those open spaces. Also, you can go still even earlier, which is called a tactical urbanism. So you can really close off the place and you can, with a temporary material, for example, using pots, etc., and you can see the effect of those closing uh, the plaza or the streets or whatever on the, on the people, on the space, on the commercial activity, etc. If it succeeds, then you can go ahead and pedestrianize the spaces. Uh, the same thing they have done in Manhattan, for example, uh, in um, Times Square, Manhattan. They have done these techniques and they have uh, done it successfully. So this is my comment uh, on, uh, uh, on your presentation, and thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, actually, I have a taqib <clears throat> in, in, in uh, I, I told you I just before, they, in, in the uh, Abu Darwish Plaza, they opened a little street uh, on the periphery of the plaza because uh, they thought that would, this would uh, improve the situation and uh, we will see what happens. Uh, anyway, yeah, but, but your comment is valid, very valid, yes, true. And you can turn uh, a space now into, if I go back, into maybe a pedestrian friendly. Uh, but I would allow the cars to move. Maybe reduce the car movement, uh, make it more pedestrian friendly, than turn it totally into a pedestrian space. Yes, you, you can improve the safety of the pedestrians with tiling, etc. But also you can keep the cars going there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. You can Actually, turn it. In Abu Darwish, uh, they did, they did, they opened uh, a small street uh, and it is, uh, he told me it is improving, it is a bit improving. Uh, even the problems are uh, reduced, I don't know how. Uh, yani, uh, less complaints from the, from the residents. It's very important yani, for the municipality to have a team that uh, assesses the situation after like five years. Any, there should be some people who are doing this research and uh, yani recording down the, the lessons learned. It's very sensitive, this issue. Yani. Anyway. Thank you. Yes. Marhaba. Ahlan. Atiki al-afiyya, Mohandis Ayman. Al-afiyya, ahlan. Dr. Firas Sharaf. Alan, Alan. Can, can I can I comment on uh, the presentation? Yes. Uh, first, thank you very much for the nice presentation and about your uh, the questions you raised in in the design and the resulting behaviors of the users. I think um, I mean part of my. Uh, planning course I teach at the University of Jordan is, is called like action planning, which involves uh, uh, um, involving the people in the area and the users in an action planning process to discover, you know, the norms and culture and behaviors and needs of the people and, and all, all, all kinds of people in the, in the area. Sorry, you see my picture now? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so uh, this kind of, of planning, uh, I think, would minimize uh, the, 
many of the raised issues in, in your presentation about what people need and how they will behave. And you can get uh, a deeper insights of the culture of the place by involving in, an, in, an, in like a workshop design at the beginning of the project to survey uh, all kinds of issues uh, that the designer uh, will need. You know, and I think this, this will reduce the backups that you, you have raised in, in the presentation. How people will use, what will work, what will not work, what will change, what is positive, what's negative, you know. Uh, I, I think that is what was missing in, in the kind of projects which does not, doesn't involve uh, sharing uh, and participation of the people and the users in the area. That's all. That's that's all I can and say. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you much. something. You are right, actually. But we talk to the people. يعني we talked with the people several times and we met with them. Actually, they were were uh, they were interested. Yeah, they were enthusiastic even. Uh, yeah, no, but that, this is not what I mean. What I mean is participation in the design. You have design workshops with the people. You know, that's what, what, what they call action planning uh, uh, events or action planning workshops. Yeah, where yeah. people, they really get uh, involved in making design uh, decisions, not just consultation. Dr. Feras, you mean co-design? No, it's action planning. And co-planning, co the same. This is yeah. a technology oh. and participation. Yeah. I think this is the, the most, you know, uh, may, maybe, which uh, affected the results of the projects. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this way, you know... Consulting way, the people, yeah, involving yeah. them has to be controlled because this is a two-way issue. I know. know. It's you critical, it yeah. Projects, and sometimes it gets you nowhere, I said. Well, yeah. And it, and it I works think in, in different uh, societies. For example, it works more in Europe and England and America, I think, this kind of uh, process. Maybe, yes, because yeah. we have different problems. Yeah. I think we have different problems. Uh, يعني, uh, for example, the, the cultural center in Abu Darwish, it is really working, you know. I used to see lots of kids running in the street doing nothing. Now this project is giving them uh, lectures in painting, uh, crafts, uh, sculpture. Uh, there is a, a nice children library that is open. There is storytelling. Uh, uh, it, it really works fine for that part of the of the. Yeah. But but if I can ask what you a I question, uh, what, what kind of activities yes. would you apply for the the youngsters, the problematic youngsters, <laughs> after the, your experience now? We have we have to sit and think about it. I think this this issue I cannot just give you on to, uh, top of my head that I, I have uh, the solution. But at least what what I think should be done is that in the beginning, before issuing the project, uh, there has to be an shoot ten me yani ish ten me development development. There has to be a, a program uh, of development. Social. Social development, social Station, development. Yes, social in the beginning, uh, Dr. Firas, uh, there's a committee that has to sit and uh, design a project that would have in its main uh, issue the, the social development, benefiting the people. And then comes the designer. Uh, well, this is what I'm talking, this is what I'm telling, you know, you can't uh, just survey it all the time, you have to listen, you know, talk Absolutely. and get them participate. Now, yeah, now to my surprise, I I, say, I, I called the, uh, the mosque broker just before this lecture, asking him the situation, he said it's improving, I don't know how is it improving. He said the problems are much less at night, the youngsters are not uh, coming like before. Uh, more people are coming to the plaza, even at night, imagine. He said in Ramadan, it's active. Uh, during summer, we have nice uh, breeze. So uh, it seems that time, also time, some spaces need some time, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But you are absolutely right, Dr. Firas. I, uh, I was involved before the corona pandemic in, in bidding for uh, a project, similar project in Irbid. 
And I want to say something I think it's extremely important that uh, we were part of a big team of experts, urban designers, architects, infrastructure, because it, uh, it was a project, uh, project to develop the downtown of Irbit, the second biggest city in Jordan. Okay, and amongst the team, uh, there was a social scientist, a lady who had, uh, who her specialty is, a, is a social science, and she has made uh, uh, studies on Irbit, on downtown, on the unemployment, on the drugs, etc. And each one of us in the team talked on our part of the work. You know? We were talking about planning, uh, the space, you know, our, our uh, uh, this urban terminology uh, that we use as designers. And when her turn came, when she started talking about the, the young men and the unemployment, uh, the drugs, the frustration, I, I thought at that moment that uh, this is where we should start. This is exactly where we should start. If you work on the beautifying uh, an urban space, it's, it's a luxury, unneeded luxury in that aspect, you see? But to me, if, if, if I have the chance to work on the Erbit project, the first issue would be studying the social status, the, the unemployment, and trying to, to, to play an, a positive part in that aspect. And this is an extremely important lesson that I wanted to address in my talk, actually. Uh, and for the audience and for the students, uh, and uh, I agree totally, Dr. Firas. We need, we need, you know, we learn, we learn, we accumulate experience, we accumulate experience. Yes, yes. thank you very much. Thank uh, you. About social sustainability, this is a, a term that uh, now is used widely in urban planning, social sustainability, which is included, and I remember I have been involved in urban uh, project, and there is a social even when it was the first in 2003 or four with the CC. They have social studies. It is important because it is the concept of social sustainability. But I would like Yanni, to, to emphasize uh, um, at the main point of your presentation, and we discussed it in several um, lectures that we have uh, uh, at uh, our faculty, these seminars. The golden triangle, what I called about the local community needs, again, the uh, site needs and the visitor needs. But now, and from all the studies, we believe that local community needs is the main base. From your experience now and opinion, if we divide, I and mean, we, I mean, there should be always balance between the three, these three parts. But from your experience now, uh, and if we divide these three elements uh, for with percentages, how you will give for the local community needs and the participatory approach, which we call it co-design or co-planning, from 100 percentage? Let me not uh, give percentages. My answer would be we can uh, different uh, if you allow me. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, sure. yeah, involving the public in design decision. Uh, well, I'm not sure. Yani, I, there, there was some experiments like this in Salt. And if we were to, listen to the to the people, everyone wants his own benefit. Yani, if every group, uh, they look totally about their own uh, benefit, disregarding the other aspects. What I think should happen is that the, the planner, the decision maker should listen, listen carefully, okay, to all the people, to all the, those involved stakeholders, and have enough wisdom to work with the situation. But uh, it's important to listen, but at the end of the day, someone has to take, to take a decision what to do. Arif uh, I believe in co-design, co-planning. It is the, the new trend now, which we call co-design, co-planning. Uh, and we have uh, uh, seminars or uh, workshops with GIZ uh, uh, for uh, the participatory approach and the co-design, especially. Yeah. 
And I think we have a culture of co-planning and user participation. I'll talk about two experiences. First, we're not used in our part of the world in getting people in, involved with the Amul map user participation. And back as when I was in charge of two posts, Al Agaba of Al Petra. In Petra, we were successful because there was a committee designing with us of committee of architects and people in discussions. But in our decision makers, and at one time I was one of them, a lot of us don't believe in what you are talking about. So if you said to the USA, to the a lot of meetings, to the camps, we talk about user participation. There is a small successful. Uh, uh, examples of what Ayman spoke about. We have little respect of to the people participation of people building their urban parks or plazas or communities. And let's face it, it's not a culture, even in our schools of thoughts in academia. In some years, there was some involvement, but decision makers, they dream at night. <laughs> all over when we talk about developing countries. Not the well-developed one, but in our part of the world. Neither in Egypt, or Iraq, or Lebanon, or Syria, or Saudi Arabia, or whatever it goes. Even if we let them participate, we ignore their decisions at the end. That's my feeling. It's not like what you see in Texas, Austin. User participation means the people will force the ideas to the designers and be part of the design team. Up till now, we have not made a platform to let people involved. None of whatsoever, with the exception of very few examples. We talk about it in schools, but we want to implement it. How do we do? Thank you, guys. السلام عليكم بس في دور على السبيكرز ديسك نقدر نحطك بعدين تمام السلام عليكم يعطيك العافيه مهندس and thank you for the presentation really it was very very inspiring and beneficial. Uh, I just have a question, please, uh, if you may. Um, yes. uh, regarding the commercial problem that you have talked about, where uh, the commercial uh, business has slowed down when you reduce the car movement, uh, do, you, um, do you suggest any solutions for this problem? Or how can we address this problem? Uh, and thank you. Maybe we should uh, take one project and uh, replan it uh, in order to introduce car movement, but uh, controlled car movement, as I said. Yani, uh, maybe yani, turning the space into pedestrian friendly rather than totally pedestrian, you see? Uh, okay, yes. Maybe this this should be done. And, and it started actually in Abu Darwish. They opened uh, uh, a narrow street uh, at the periphery of the plaza. And uh, the people saying there that it, it improved the situation. So I would I would be careful in, in suggesting solutions. I would make uh, uh, interventions that are controlled and limited. I would slowly intervene and see what happens. You see, but I wouldn't uh, take the plaza off, يعني. Yes. Now, in uh, if you if you know Al Wakalat Street in uh, in Amman. Yes. That that it, it was turned into a commercial and it failed. So uh, they opened also a, a stone a street with cobblestone where cars can pass, but slowly. So we are we are learning, يعني. I I uh, this is what my decision, and I would really uh, this this is the way I would think about it. Although um, 
I don't know this culture of, of cars. يعني we have, يعني كمان إحنا as, as citizens, it's time that we change. Why, yes, why should true. the Jordanian citizen uh, park his car exactly in front of the shop to, to, to buy things? Yes, true. Yeah, I, I, I was sure. Yeah. Uh, يعني we should work on, on this also. يعني هذه, it's a problem, عرفت كيف? It's a yes, problem it's in, in our behavior also. So it's, it's a multi-layered uh, complex issue. Yes, and... Uh, if I were to work in, in a plaza, in a, in a future project, uh, maybe I will make an intermediate solution where cars can move, but slowly, slower, uh, like it is in, in a rainbow street, uh, where the uh, stone tiling has reduced the car speed, and it is working, RFTQ. Uh, yes, thank you very much. You are welcome. عندنا سؤال من دينا وبعد دينا لو بتتفضلي دكتورة ميساء دينا بتقدري تعمل ان ميوت بليز يعطيك العافية مهندس رمضان كريم انا دينا دهود I'd like to ask two questions um, first of all thank you so much for this delicate uh, insightful presentation uh, I remember visiting درويش um, Sahid al-Masjid Darwish, and I was inspired and by the design, but I didn't know who did the urban design. Now I know uh, the reason why such uh, a gem is in the city. Actually, I, I have two questions. First of all, what do you think uh, can be the role of an architect, an urbanist, and maybe students, maybe citizens, in achieving and advocating urban justice? The second question, uh, since we're talking about the um, commuting and the cars and pedestrian, now that we have post-corona, I would, inshallah, post-corona really uh, soon, I would, uh, I'm quite curious to know your insights, your ideas, uh, because coronavirus is changing actually our lives. How would, would it change our urban design? So maybe maybe many of your designs that you think that uh, it was quite inactive can get activated by time. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> two big questions. Uh, what is the role of the architect or the design? Uh, I think the architect should start when we work in the city to, to work as a team, more to be a, a team member and to get on board uh, not just the local representatives of the people but also social scientists i find social science in this aspect extremely important uh, the architect can maybe uh, uh, work within a team yani, uh, make make uh, brainstorming sessions uh, visit, visit the site more uh, try to feel the 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 reality more, you know, uh, but uh, I would change the design process uh, totally. I would uh, include uh, on board uh, social scientists. We would spend more time uh, on site with the people, uh, build on our past experience. So it's a process. But at the end of the time, the I think the architect planner uh, has the ability to to pull all these ideas and all these forces and uh, work wisely uh, uh, work in, in uh, wisely with experienced people actually uh, uh, <clears throat> maybe we can also share experiences with other cities work more with uh, neighboring arab cities uh, share experience. this is something uh, that we should start uh, doing, يعني, uh, كيف, you know, learn from other lessons, uh, make lectures, make such uh, talks, uh, uh, share our our uh, concerns. But to me, uh, if I were to work on a project, I would, uh, as I said, compile a, a, a team of experts, not necessarily designers, but maybe social. Uh, uh, merchants, uh, social scientists in the first place. Uh, maybe I would get some of the youngsters uh, uh, on board. Uh, 
I mean, uh, and this this is what Dr. Firas and other colleagues were saying. And involve more uh, stakeholders in the in the thinking process. Uh, but at the at the end, someone has to sit down and make the plan. And this is the, the, the this is the, there comes the the the, the architect uh, who should go out of his ego of his. Uh, graphic abilities and uh, not be a tool to just beautify the the outer skin but rather uh, 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 create uh, an active actual genuine uh, activity that would really benefit really benefit uh, the the users i don't know if, if this is enough uh, as an answer yani and I want to mention here one one uh, thing that I heard from Dr. Hassan Radwan. I don't I don't know if he's with us. He's the he was the head of the School of Architecture in Morocco, and he was he was responsible for the uh, for the uh, for Fez, the city, the historic city of Fez in Morocco, the great uh, traditional city. And one time he told us that they were renovating uh, a Sabil, Sabil, which is a public drinking fountain. They call it Saqaya there. It, it is a feature in, in, in cities in Islam to have public uh, drinking fountains in, the, in downtown. So he said, we renovated uh, um, this uh, beautiful uh, historic piece of art. We came a few, uh, in, in, in a month later, it was harmed. It was... Uh, scratched it was harmed we don't know what so we renovated again and again and at the at the end he said we found out that the, there is a guy living behind this uh, sabil and he used to do this harm and we went to him and we said why are you doing this he said uh, my house uh, needs repair why don't you repair my house and then i will take care of the of the sabil so this is why I say we have to go beyond the surface. We have to go in a, in a wider circle, in a deeper level of addressing uh, really human issues in, in, in our design. Um, rather than having big decisions from up from a mayor or municipality just to, to make the city look uh, more, more nicer in, on, on, the, on the surface, you see. It's not a makeup thing. It's not maquillage. It has to be. A, uh, it has to start from solving a social problem, any, uh, uh, and then use the designer talent to 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 work on on, on such issues. Anyway, yeah. Um. Uh, thank you, uh, architect Ayman. This is exactly what uh, all of us are uh, trying to to say that. Um, uh, the main point of uh, these uh, very important uh, projects in the city centers uh, should be the development, social, uh, economic development. This is the main goal. But what happened actually, uh, it's about this decision maker. It's not only about the architect uh, himself, because decision makers, uh, if we say, uh, see uh, what they do, what do they want from the uh, from the city? Um, they want uh, some kind of uh, beautification. That's why like a Sahit Lain project, for example, it's a big project. It was divided into many components. The architect takes uh, only uh, one component. So uh, you can uh, maneuver a uh, very uh, um, small uh, uh, um, circle. Okay. But uh, actually, if you look um, at this project, for example, the uh, assault, there were uh, many governmental buildings. They were, uh, they were uh, demolished. Uh, there, big, uh, there were uh, a very big uh, jam there, uh, traffic jam, and uh, what happened is just only tiling, uh, making uh, stairs, making uh, 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 signs for uh, for uh, uh, the shops. Um, the, the people, uh, if we look at the how many people they were coming to this area before demolishing and this project. Uh, people were coming because it's, it was the heart of the, the city, it's the, cent the city center. They came to Al Muhafaza, Tarbiya, Al Maghfar al Shurta, Al Barid. There were many uh, people there, but now actually it's changed from uh, only it was a place to a physical uh, sp space, actually. 
uh, one of these uh, shops uh, uh, is a bakery. Um, I, wa I was talking with him uh, once. He said that before this project, uh, he was um, uh, you, uh, he used the um, 40 um, shawl of flour, shawl, I don't know, a bag of flour, okay? But after the project, he used uh, only uh, 12. So what is uh, the most uh, uh, important goal of this uh, this uh, project? If uh, uh, we have a decrease, uh, a decreasing in uh, uh, purchasing power and in uh, a social uh, uh, development. Uh, this is the point. Wow. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. architect. Wow. I know that you are very in your uh, interventions. I know that very well, but I'm saying that it's a big uh, uh, circle. It's We need to, yeah. to look at the full picture, not only uh, uh, yeah. the architect, uh, um, his role is very small in a big uh, area. This is uh, my yes. uh, intervention. So Thank why, you. Why did the authorities demolish the those public buildings which used to give life to the place? Eh? Because uh, there was a big uh, traffic jam, they think that uh, if they uh, demolish them uh, and make a big uh, yard instead of them, uh, people, uh, yani the traffic jam will uh, <laughs> will go. But actually, it was existing uh, as is because uh, they forget that this area uh, is the heart of the the city. It's uh, kind of. Uh, um, it's a road between the city. There is no uh, uh, circle road uh, for the city, so uh, vehicles are uh, uh, coming, but uh, they uh, abandoned the, the car, the parking, and this is actually uh, was very harmful for uh, the, for all uh, shops in the uh, in the city center, because there were uh, no parking. How can people come and uh, buy their? Uh, Not on that not on um, not, um, not only for tiling or for a yard, actually. We need okay. to look at, uh, the, at the full picture. So, okay. Yes. Claudine, uh, anybody else wants uh, to ask or comment? Okay, Abdel Fattah al Mu'min. نعم نعم معكم السلام عليكم اخوكم المهندس عبد الفتاح المؤمن معماري من من السعوديه الشرقيه سعيد اني انضم معكم اليوم وان كنت لحقت عليها شويه متاخره لكن يعني اي هاد ذا تشانس تو سي ذا لاست تو بروجيكت اهلا وسهلا فيك يعني تحيه لك والجميع ونبارك لكم الشهر الفضيل ونقول ان شاء الله هالازمه يعني ورمضان الفضيل يعني ينتهي بعيد جميل والازمه يعني بانش الى لا رجع يا رب. ان شاء الله. آه اسعدت بالجزء اللي لحقت عليه ومن خلت الاخوان ويعني فيرست اوف اول يو يو ار ا فيري سنسيتيف اركيتكت بيوتيفول اند اند يو هاف بيوتيفول اركتكتشر. توداي وي وي توكن تو ا لارجر اربن سكيل ويمكن ميبي وي هاد سيميلر تشانسز اوف وركينج اون ا بروجكت لايك وايز. With also different municipalities in Saudi Arabia, and and uh, probably we have very uh, much uh, uh, great similarities in Jordan and Saudi cultural uh, architecture. Probably not not so much of, of uh, climatical, but at least let me say on the on the urban side. Uh, in in my opinion, yani cities we all agree is, 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 as much as we want to uh, we hate the. the Modern uh, planning concepts that we imported from uh, probably the, the power countries from the U.S. with with car dominating our cities. Uh, or, or today, the American uh, cities again they are going back into new urbanism and trying to uh, humane their, their cities uh, to make it a more like the European uh, um, villages or uh, urban, which is still يعني. Uh, human pedestrian uh, friendly. انا في تصوري يعني اذا تسمح لي بالمداخله انه what we what lacked in the in this project exactly what has been said uh, and I just repeated in a, a beautiful synergy and balance between the cars and uh, you still احنا we have the habit like you do uh, we, we like to to يعني park in front of, of the, the, the store. Uh, but to do that, to, to eliminate this, you have to, to allow the car, but controlled uh, with, uh, with a beautiful, sensitive material, uh, a pedestrian art priority, 
but also like what have been said, find solutions. And yani, even those government buildings in the south and they were removed, maybe it should have been compensated by uh, back of house uh, parking uh, structures that accommodate those cars. Besides, and I don't want you to take a big burden as a, as a urban designer or architect for having this not uh, succeeded, even if you have done this. If you just worry, there is also much to, to do with the municipality. Yeah, and the municipality should have been also taking this uh, project. Uh, they represent the people. Yeah, and one, one, one simple uh, uh, an act we have not to forget in the last two projects, they are commercial. يعني you are touching people uh, income مثل ما ذكرت الزميله اللي, اللي, اللي قبلي اللي هذا ابو شوال اللي, اللي يعني اقل من 40 الى الى 12 شوال هذا هي touched by his his life by his economy ف what do we do احنا نقول عندنا مثل نقول uh, اللي هو التجاره تحب اللي هو تكون في طريق اللي هو في traffic of, of, of people اللي هو والمكان اللي فيه دوس هو المكان الناجح ف bringing people Either Makhilal, who are making it also car friendly, more pedestrian dominated, and bringing events. I mean, I have a job in Matla, and the plaza that you did, and the office of the Farag, and the case of the municipality, a different community of the municipality, or the community, create more mm-hmm. events, uh, cultural events, Munasabat, uh, and the Sultan, and the Sultan, and the Sultan, ابغى اجيب السواح ابغى لازم يكون في اكتيفيتيز في دوس رجل حتى هذول الناس اي اي ميك ات اب فور ذيم ويكونوا سعيدين لان الحركه تولد تجاره والزوار والزوار يحتاجون مرافق وفاسيلتيز والله يكرمكم آه يعني مينتيند سانيتايز تويلت فاسيلتيز براير اريا نير دور ايزي باركينج فاسيلتيز فور سمبدي كومينج فروم عمان هي وونت تو بارك ان ان نايس شيلتر بس ذن هي كان ووك اف هي كان دو ذات He will be more encouraged to do so. Uh, can't, uh, somebody, I think maybe, uh, Mohand uh, Salman, you, you meant uh, you, the council who example in uh, Maghreb. When I think, I thought uh, toward the end of your uh, statement, Bergulli, that guy, they found out uh, he was the victim in, in vandalism uh, because uh, he was touched in his source of income. I thought you, but uh, the answer no. was because he's still water. And no, I no. think this is, this is the key, what I want to quote, the key for those people, for an urban place like this to be successful, that people, uh, they, they should sustain their economy. And this happens by more traffic, then it comes more people, synergy of car and, and people, and, and complementing the place by activities and by urban uh, يعني elements, middle parking, toilets, uh, mosque and others. Uh, يعني, uh, uh, your, your architectural... Uh, beautiful architecture, يعني, it's, it's a bit to, to face such a problem. And I think it still can be, like Ba'd uh, al mentioned, to be revisited and be, uh, يعني, re-study how to go and synergize it again with, with, with cars. <laughs> shukran <laughs> lak wa shukran jameel presentation. If I can do a small comment, Yasir, can I comment? تفضل 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 طبعا. يعني وانت تقول ان الورق الجاي بس كومنت الورق الجاي هي هاد هي سيد ماي ماي هوم نيدز ريبير هي از بور. يو ار سبيندينج ماني اون ذيس بس يو ار ليفينج مي لايك ذيس تو ريبير هيلب مي ريبير ماي ماي هاوس ادجيسنت تو ذيس سبيل اند اي ويل تيك يو سي And, uh, and the, the other issue, يعني, and I'll be up with what you said, I want to just uh, prove with you is that uh, the, the role of the municipality in activating a place. You know, in Ragadan Bus Terminal, when they allowed Amman Design Group to use the building, it was, it was very successful and it was. Can you have to mute your. Uh, Please mute, please mute your uh, speaker. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I was saying that we can see that what you said clearly in, in Ragadan Bus Terminal when they allowed Amman Design Week to use the, the place. It was full of life. It was really active and people, I can see in their faces how enjoyed this, how they enjoyed the space. 
I mean, so exactly. Exactly. I mean, that's what I say. I mean, people, what what they did this one week could have been the whole year program. And exactly. And exactly. exactly. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely right. Absolutely. So. Yeah. yeah. Can I have comment or question, please? تفضل تفضل دكتور سامي. Okay. Uh, Dr. Mohandas Ayman, yani I agree with the public spaces, what you're doing right now. Before I was, one of the most things I hated here in large public spaces, because I was thinking it's going to have the criminal activities there. But I saw like the airbed, the one you talk about it, I watch it for all my life when from there uh, they start the project until now. In the beginning, really, it was for act, uh, criminal activities. But we start changing people's culture. Each project in the beginning, you know, changing people's culture is not something easy. And such these projects, the uh, public spaces, I think with the time and more projects, it can change uh, uh, the people's culture. It may be some small consideration mm -hmm. to apply uh, design against crime. So we have like like the one you show it uh, be Abu Darwish area, the whole the dark area. This is maybe in the future we can consider the principle of design against crime. So we can avoid some kind of hiding area or area where is the criminal things it can happen. But I I believe right now uh, when I visit Al Sahel Hashmiya at night, I was thinking it's gonna be the criminal area. But now it's a beautiful area, it's even at night. I see families, people have fun, enjoy. Before this project, it was really not anybody can go there. But now start, really, it's a family uh, area and the uh, entertainment area, and you can walk there fast. So this is, it takes time, changing people behaviors through design, through urban designs, it takes time. So uh, I think in the future, we can have more successful projects such as the one in salt and sometimes you have to sacrifice with some kind of business whatever but we have to change in the end of the day we have to do something to change in the area or urban bank to keep everything as it is uh, i think it's not a good idea developing we can have facing certain problem in the beginning that's something normal and with the time it's gonna finish i hope so yeah في معنا كومنت او سؤال من هيفا مرحبا يعطيك العافيه مهندس ايمن و ثانك يو فيري ماتش فور فور ذس ليكتشر يعني ماني بوينتس هاف بين ريزد يعني ريجاردينغ ذا يعني ستاديينغ ذا سوسيو economic uh, aspects and uh, the cultural aspects uh, in terms of uh, urban design. But what I found uh, a yani, uh, main issue, which also others mentioned, is the um, uh, uh, authorities role and the uh, urban policies role, which we it, it seems that we don't even have a centralized, uh, we don't really have a, an urban planning for uh, for the for Jordan or for this uh, for the cities here, in a centralized sense, I'm not saying that it uh, it should be merely centralized, but uh, um, what could we do as uh, architects as, and as planners to uh, um, push forth uh, to a more um, I don't know uh, conscious and informed role of these authorities. Uh, or more actually having more responsibility because it, it does not fall uh, merely on you or on the architects. Uh, so um, I don't know, could we do something or is it our role as architects and planners to, to do that? Um, um, uh, that's, uh, yani that's a question. And I think others also raised um, another issue related to the locality of the interventions. Like everything is uh, that we have is imported like we have uh, ideas and and uh, uh, theories that are uh, mostly western uh, so um, uh, isn't it time for us to have more uh, uh, authentic uh, interventions and uh, 
also what what should and uh, should we do as uh, as architects in that regard uh, since all the educational system is focused on uh, studies and social studies uh, of uh, the western societies that are uh, again yeah, either they're influencing our design uh, as parachutes they're uh, they come from the West and we, we implement them and we don't really have something that represents us and our culture and our norms uh, and the people needs uh, and so forth. So these are my questions. Thank you very much. Yani, thank you. I think we, we partially answered your, uh, your question. I don't know if you were with us, but uh, the authorities, they have a main role actually, the authorities, I, I believe that. Yani, Let's take Ragadan bus terminal. I mean, why don't they uh, activate this uh, building? I mean, they think that uh, it's going to be messy. They're going to draw on the walls. Okay, why not? Oh, what? But I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I mean, do we have as architects a role in pushing forth uh, the authorities and the policies uh, yes. in that uh, sense? Um, that's what I mean. Yes, we have. Yani, we have on the individual level and on the collective level through the uh, association, through the uh, Jordanian Architect Association. I think uh, we can address these issues more, uh, make more interaction with the municipality, have more role in in the city planning. It's a big issue, actually, Haifa. It's not uh, a simple uh, answer, Rifti. It's it's it's. Uh, but I think. For example, I uh, in 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 our involvement in Abu Darwish, we prevented uh, wrong actions that uh, were about to be taken to remove the school of the orphans, uh, to remove some some buildings that uh, residents from the area. Uh, we, as a, a design team, we convinced the authorities that uh, there's no need to do that. We have a role. Uh, we have a role to play. Uh, the architect. Uh, shouldn't uh, let himself be uh, a tool uh, that uh, that just apply, uh, implements whatever the municipality and the mayor wants from the tourist perspective or so. So it's awareness. I think we have to raise awareness uh, to get more uh, educated, informed, uh, make more uh, 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 brainstorming sessions about these issues. Uh, um, and and uh, and inter intervene in the programs actually when the architect designer is given a, a scope of work in the project here comes his role to stop and rethink all the contents of this scope of work and maybe uh, talk with the authorities uh, in order to to amend those uh, those uh, this scope of work in order yani, to be more realistic and as i told you uh, the role of the architect is to involve more experts on board the team, like social scientists, uh, more locals. Uh, that's it, Yani. So it's a complex issue that, uh, and the most important thing is to is to raise awareness on the individual level and the on the collective level. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'd like to comment on the bus stop. If you can, uh, Engineer Ayman, uh, bring the, the, the site plan of that uh, project, please. Do we have time, may I ask, or? Uh, Yeah, yeah, we, we have, we can spare a few more minutes. Sorry. What, what do you want? Uh, 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 put back the Ghadan, the slide the about Ghadan? the master plan, our master plan. Can we have the other plan showing the surrounding the city and the road, maybe the aerial photograph? 
Uh, I'm trying to share it, uh, but it's not. Uh, uh, لا هو بس كبر الشاشة آه بس كبر الشاشة. Yes. This one. Now there is an alien photograph, right? آه اللي بعديها اللي بعديها. Hi. Four. Yes. Yes. Okay. إذا بتقدر تكبرها أيمن؟ Yes. Okay. Actually, uh, the problem with this project uh, is that it is very much isolated from the surrounding. Although you have a pedestrian bridge, but usually pedestrian bridge is not uh, uh, a solution for uh, people. In order for this project to succeed, you have to maintain or bring a natural flow of pedestrians going from the surrounding area through this place. This way, you will have very successful uh, uh, project. Now, there is a simple tool for urban designers they use, which is the figure ground tool. Uh, if you apply a figure ground tool on this one here, you see that it is a totally isolated linear building within a parking space and a road, a major road from the other side. Now, I'm sure there are some activities on the, uh, on the mountain uh, edge uh, where we see there and also in, uh, near the main road here. If we can bring those activities together and link them together uh, in a safe way, through this place, this place will become successful. Now, this part of the road, actually, if it is a high-speed road or a dangerous road to cross, then you have to do a solution for this uh, part of the road. You might really do a certain streetscape, special streetscape on this part of the road in order to link this mass of development on here in the front uh, side and, 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 uh, and your bus stop. And the same thing, you can link it to the development on the back side. Then here you can really create a flow, a natural flow of people from one place to the other through your place. This way your place will be successful and the demand for commercial will come and you can see it really active and, uh, and positive. Thank you. But let me, okay, let me comment on this, please. Uh, okay. The problem, I think, if they, the, what would give life to this is, to, is the people who are using the terminal, as was the issue in the old one, Arift Kiev. The problem is that they are not activating this. The, the amount of people that used to come to the terminal here is huge. And this was giving life to all the surrounding even, the surrounding shops, not only the project. So I think the problem is not only the connections, as you rightly said, I have lots of connections, little connections here and there, by the way. But the problem is they, if, if, they, if they activate this, if they generate the movement of the cars, this is a, a hub that connects downtown to all the city and to neighboring cities, even Zarqa, etc. So the, what will give it life really is the just let it work. And it, it proved itself during Amman Design Week. Uh, I mean, may I add? Uh, yes. Um, I, I think uh, the significance of the comment that we had now that he's su suggesting that um, there perhaps there's another layer uh, that could have been incorporated, incorporated in the design which allows it to um, function publicly even if the original use was suspended. Mm. No, uh, they're, not, they're not allowing uh, anyone to, to enter the project even. Yeah, but maybe this idea of allowing some kind of access for a flow, a public flow throughout the project could have yes. worked in a situation like this where uh, even after, you know, the original program was scrapped by the authorities. Um, that's something to think about. Yes. And it is doable, I think. I, I think so. I think so. It's very easy. I mean, it can be, can be done. Okay, um, I, I, uh, before we close, um, I would uh, I, I thank everybody who was with, with us. I thank uh, architect Ayman for his very illuminating, very participatory uh, talk. Um, I thank the audience for a well-informed discussion, and I would like to uh, use the occasion to uh, invite you uh, once more to our next session where uh, many of these issues will continue to be de debated. Um, uh, Professor Kamal Mahadeen, are you with us?
Okay, um, because I wanted uh, uh, him to uh, give a brief about our next lecturer, uh, who is going to be from uh, Dr. Kurt uh, Calbertston from uh, United States. He's going to talk about design and special equity in the time of COVID-19. The talk will take place uh, next Saturday at 8.30. We are looking forward to have you uh, uh, there. Thank you very much for all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Sayyidman. Thank you, Mohandas Ayman. Shukran, thank you very much for this uh, chance, really. Shukran, we are all happy to be here. We are all Shukran, to be here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. كانت ندوة شكرا محاضرة رائعة يا مهندس مهندس بشكرك الله يخليك شكرا جزيلا شكرا يعني مشاريع شكرا لتحت الفرصة لأنها بتهم الجميع يعني بالعكس يعني أنت أغنية البلاتفورم تاع يعني دائما وجودك بيناتنا يعني له قيمة إضافية فكيف لما تعطي محاضرة أشكرك الله يخليك شكرا جزيلا شكرا كثير مهندس أيمن محاضرة فعلا قيمة واحساسك عالي جدا يعني مش بس بال بالبناء بالانسان قبل ما يكون بالبناء يعني ما هو الاساس طلع الاساس <تصفيق> يعني قديش قدرت انا موضوع ابو درويش وعلاقتك مع الناس وعم بتحاول انت ما تكبر المشروع عكس كل المعماريين المعماريين عاده بيكبروا المشاريع لحسابهم الشخصي لفائتهم الشخصيه فقديش انت عم بتحاول تصغر المشروع حتى ما تاثر على الناس يعني الحمد لله بس كنت حابب اشوف ايمن كيف كانت ال يعني الاكتيفيتيز بيفور اند افتر يعني في بيطلع اخطاء بسيطه بعد لكن يمكن كانت المشكله قبل التصميم اكبر بكثير من الوضع الحالي مم. يعني بدها بحث بدها بحث خاص يمكن هاي بدها آه. آه. المهم انه احنا الان اذا بدنا نشتغل مشروع ثاني راح يكون الابروتش شوي مختلف عرفت هاي 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 التجربه المهمه جدا حبيت اوصلها للحضور لانه راح كل منهم يصيروا بلانرز واركيتكتس ويدخلوا في تصميم مشاريع مشابهه فمهم جدا انه اوصل كنت الرساله هاي عرفت كيف انه ما نتعامل مع الامور ب بسطحية لا بالعكس وأفرجي إنه الكفاح تبعنا بأبو درويش كيف حافظنا على مدرسة الأيتام ما كان سهل على فكرة وحافظنا على المباني حتى ما نضر الناس كيف أنت كأركيتكت إلك دور اجتماعي برضو لما ي... آه؟, آه هاي يعني هاي مهمة جدا إنه أنت توقف أمام الأوثوريتيز أمام السلطات وتقول لا ما بعمل هيك أنا ما أنا مش جاي أضر الناس عشان أعمل مشروع تتصوروا فيه وتت... وتعملوا افتتاح وهيك يعني ات وان بوينت ان تايم يمكن تتعرض لخسران لخس... المشروع بس تكسب ضميرك اوكي يعني. اشكركم جميعا والى اللقاء شكرا الى اللقاء شكرا لكم شكرا لكم يلا الى اللقاء